Moon Azua. Time for Agatha's ritual. The moon can't get any more right. Are you ready? Are you? I'm prepared as I can be. And I'll have some additional help. Who? Agatha asked me to recruit a few of the others. It is hard to believe everyone just agreed to this. Agatha had me tell them what only she could have known. Except Strange, he came without question. He had a twinkle in his eye, as though he already knew. How many people will be joining us? All the Midnight Suns, Doctor Strange, and Logan overheard me talking with Nico and decided to come along. He believed you? He said, I've seen weirder stuff in my day. But he used another word for stuff. We should go. I'll lead the way. Hey, Hunter. Thanks for doing, uh, all of this. Do you know what we are doing? No idea. So why are you here? Why else? To support you and Wanda. Oh, and Agatha, too. Thanks, Robbie. Of course. When Agatha's back, she'll want to see some familiar faces. Happy to be one of them. So, I'm a little pissed at you. I could not tell anyone about Agatha. Uh, not that. Here, I was thinking you and Wanda were going to be a thing, but no, that was all a ruse. Anything is possible. We're about to restore the spirit of Agatha Harkness, so I guess you're right. So here we are. Now I know what you stole from Caretaker's room. Very clever. Thanks, Magic. What are friends for? That was not rhetorical. Sometimes I wonder. Ah, Hunter! My anticipation for this moment was boundless. You knew about her ghost? I sensed her energy, and I knew she wasn't a hostile spirit. Why did you not say anything? I could always trust Agatha to have an elaborate plan. I surmised she would enact it when necessary. And so she has. Keeping secrets, eh? <laughs> That's Agatha for you. Between you and me, I knew she wasn't really gone. How so? Agatha always had a backup plan. I used to say she could cheat death at cards. Never thought I'd be right. Don't know how this is possible, but I'm not surprised. Why not? You and Wanda working together. What can't you do? That's not an expression. If I wake up tomorrow and there's a second moon in the sky, I'll assume it has something to do with you two. This is it. Hunter, I never asked. Are you all right with this? I know it is what you want, but this might be the last time we speak. I thought the last time we'd ever speak was three centuries ago. The chance to spend time with you again. I am so lucky and so proud. If this doesn't work, please don't let Sarah know. She shouldn't have to lose me again. I understand. But it will work. Wanda knows what she's doing. I believe in her. In all of you. Besides... I'm Agatha Harkness. The world won't be rid of me till I'm ready to go. Everyone's here. We're almost ready to begin. What else do we need? The braziers indicate the ritual boundary. Once you light them, we can begin. What do they have to do with the ritual? 
They mark the ritual space. As long as nothing crosses the boundary, we should be fine. And if something goes wrong, we'll be fine. They'll contain whatever goes wrong. I will be right back. Fires are lit. Any last words before we begin? Once we start, there's no going back. Let us begin. What do you need me to do? Stand back and make sure nothing disturbs us. The Grey Seneschal is a finicky ritual. Agatha Harkness, can you hear me? I can. The Grey Seneschal extends a hand. Shall you take it, knowing it may lead to your destruction? I shall. Do you willingly sever your bond to this world, knowing it may lead to your dissolution? I do. And will you open yourself to the Grey Seneschal, knowing it may lead to your possession? I will. Spoken, witnessed, and sealed. I can, I will, now begin. Steady, Wanda. I call upon the Grey Seneschal. Seize the spirit of Agatha Harkness and deliver her into this world. It's her. Oh, I can see her. I can see... Agatha? Sarah. Wait. She did not want you to find out like this. How are you here? I couldn't find a keepsake. A simple spell said it was here. The locket. Wanda stole it. I nearly caught her outside my room, didn't I? Wanda was the lookout. I am the one who stole it. Why would you do that to me? Agatha asked me to. Asked? Why would you pull her back from her final rest? You should know better. Sarah, she never left the Abbey. She's been here for months. Then what are you? The Grey Seneschal. I won't let you do this to her. Sarah, wait! Wanda won't destroy her again. Sarah, no! What have you done to her? Nothing worse than what you've done, Sarah. Agatha? You were the worst thing to happen to me. Oh, how I loathed our time together. It took death to finally free me of your insipid- This isn't Agatha. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Hello, sweetling. Mephisto. Release Agatha. We have no quarrel with you. I have quarrel with him. You want me to simply give you this withered ecto-puppet? Come now. Someone must know how this works. It's always the same with you. The devil is here, and he's ready to bargain. Ah, the hairy little creature remembers how it works. No bargains. Release Agatha, right now. No, no, no. I'm willing to make a simple trade. Give me Ilyana. And you can have this faded rag of spirit. Do you think I would ever trust you with anything? Still touch it from our last encounter. Unlike some of you here, I honor all bargains I strike to the letter. I thought you were the true power here. But if you have no hold over the Queen of Limbo, you're as useless to me as this wizened phantasm. Wait. I will speak with Ileana. Good, good. But don't take too long. If you delay, I'll melt this shriveled spirit 
There is little to say. Ileana, I am just stalling for... Shush. There is little to say because I know how to push him out. What is the plan? If I banish him directly, he takes her with him. But if I channel my power through someone close to Agatha... Wham! Sucker punch! He loses control, I banish him, and Agatha stays behind. Then why have you not done it already? Channeling my power through a person causes lasting injury. I do not know who should bear this suffering. I can only offer myself. Hunter, this is quite dangerous. Are you certain? To save Agatha, defy the devil, and keep you from his clutches? Of course I am certain. You are a fool. But you are the best fool I know. Give me the signal when you're ready. Enough to... Liberations. Do Magic. we have... What do we say to the devil? We say... The devil can go to hell! Agatha? Sarah? You can hear me? And see you. What, no kiss? And that's how I know it's you. What you've done here, to bring everyone together, it's... It's not enough. I've never been more delighted to tell you how wrong you are. This is so much better than we'd expected. We just need to finish it. We? Does that mean you'll stay and help? You thought I did all this to say goodbye? Oh, Sarah, you're hopeless. Not anymore. Look at that. Hunter, would you mind walking with me? They deserve some privacy. Indeed. Agatha's back. It worked. Wanda, this was all you. No, this wouldn't have happened without you. We pushed each other and look at what we achieved. So what now? We should let them catch up. Agreed. See you tomorrow. I'm going to bed and don't plan to set an alarm. actually did it. Agatha's back. This place already feels more lively. So to speak. I just keep going over it again and again in my head. It still doesn't make sense. I had to say it, but you probably won't ever make sense of it. Bad guys do bad things. Do you think we could try and talk to Johnny? Maybe Agatha and Johnny can both hunt the Abbey. And all is as it should be. Miss Maximoff acquitted herself with aplomb, as did you and Miss Rasputin. Are you concerned about Mephisto? <laughs> no more than any other day. A good leader always endures for the sake of others. Please do not take such a risk again, especially considering the condition of your collar. I can't thank you enough, and I'm certain I will over the coming days. But right now, do you mind terribly if I catch up with the love of my life? 
And afterlife. Don't make me haunt you. and dragged her to the courthouse. Sure, they were going to take the torch to her, or the noose. But Agatha's not the kind of witch that would let herself burn. No, she's not. So, how did she get out of being another victim of the wild imaginations of superstitious villagers? She stood obstinately. today. Something of concern? I can check to see if any curses have been invoked. It's not a bad feeling. Did you catch Sarah out there? So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Sometimes, I even impress myself. Maybe it's the shock of rare positive vibes I'm picking up around here, but I think we might not need to pull a Fredo on Banner. Hey, can I ask a favor? Banner, however... Wanted to speak? I see you, Hunter. I notice what you've been up to. And what have I been up to exactly? Bad things. Very bad things. The worst. You should see the look on your face. I meant that in a good way. You're embracing the darkness more and more every day, owning it, but not letting it own you. And more importantly, you're proving to be quite a good... friend. Ileana, you just used the F word. I did. You are my friend, and I am yours. Uh, maybe it is your friendship that has made me more comfortable using the term. I do not keep a lot of them, so don't screw it up by defecting to the light side, okay? Me? Go to the light side. <laughs> Never. For years in this realm, I felt out of place. I was a sorceress who used the darkness within her for the cause of light and life. No one understood me, and most people were terrified. Then I met the Midnight Suns, and they showed me how to make a home in this world. It never felt right for a bad girl like me to fight with the good guys. Until you showed me how. You have shown me a lot too, Ileana. Perhaps, but I haven't told you everything. My time growing up in Limbo was difficult. The creature who brought me there... Mephisto. The very same. He sought to blacken my soul with corruption. Forced me to hurt. To curse. To kill. I hate what he did. What he made me do. But without it, I am not the person you know. And I would never have met you. Am I a monster for being grateful it happened as it did? Of course not. 
A terrible creature inflicted pain on a friend of mine. Worse, he made her think it was her own fault. It was my fault. He was always the monster, Ileana. Never you. That is what I see. I do not agree. But I trust you. I shall consider what you said, okay? Okay. Thank you for listening to me, friend. You know, when I first heard about Lilith and her apocalypse, I was skeptical that a resurrected half-demon warrior from the 17th century was going to be our best shot at beating her forces of darkness back. And now? Nico and company made the right call when they raised you from the dead, because I'm pretty sure you're the one who's going to save the day. You are fond of Nico and magic and the rest of the sons, are you not? I am. I think their talents and competence have been totally overlooked by Caretaker. They deserve their day in the sun, and I'm pretty sure with the way you've been leading them, they'll get it. You think I have what it takes to be a leader? No, Hunter. I know you have what it takes. You just need time to stew, grow into yourself. When I enlisted, I was 90 pounds soaking wet. A light breeze would have knocked me over, not what you call captain material. But I didn't give up. And I won't let you either. I'm sure Tony won't mind if I install XCOM on Central. It's for tech. Pick your target, Hunter. Bye. However, thanks, Hunter. spent some time decrypting the data drive Crossbones gave to Cap. I hope it gave us good information on Hydra. He gave us good intelligence, all right. But it's not about Hydra. It's about us. Take a look. He had files on all of us. Cap, me, Stark, Blade, Magic, Nico, everyone. Strengths, weaknesses, mostly weaknesses. We can use this information to fix our deficiencies. Whatever he viewed as a weakness, we can make into a strength. I like the way you think. Now I just need to convince Cap that distributing these files to the team is a good idea. This isn't even all of it. There's a whole other section, but I can't access it. More encryption. Multiple layers of it. I could probably get it, but it'll take me a while. Cap could make this go a lot quicker. Where is he? I'm surprised he is not going over these files with you. He was with me when we first unlocked the drive. He was already agitated from Crossbones' death, but I think seeing what he had on us really set him off. He excused himself in a hurry, 
Now I need him back. I will find him and convince him to come back. You do not have to worry about that. I have no doubt you can be most persuasive when you want to be, Hunter. Was there anything about me on that drive? Strangely, no. Not a word. Odd. I'll keep trying to break this code while you find Cap. Hunter, got any concerns? Steve, Carol needs your help decrypting Crossbones files. <laughs> it figures she'd send you. Did she tell you I want nothing to do with it? Because I still don't. Tell me why this is a problem. It was something Crossbones said. The old man. He was talking about my greatest enemy. Who? The Red Skull commanded Hydra during the war. Obsessed with the occult. You think the Red Skull has something to do with those files? I'm certain. One file is called Project Gutmorder. A classic name for a Red Skull terror weapon. Rumlo wants... Wanted me to use the tools of my oldest enemy to defeat the newest. I won't give him the satisfaction. You are looking at this the wrong way. How do you think I should see it? Crossbones made a point of drawing you to him. Then he found a way to get close to you. In the end, he turned on Lilith. He gave those files to the only person he could trust to put them to good use. That's an interesting theory, but I won't give Rumlow the benefit of the doubt. That is not your call to make. You helped put me in charge. Now trust me to do my job. Well, I guess you have been paying attention. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, huh? <sighs> I'll talk to Carol and do what I can. Thanks for helping me work through this, Hunter. Of course. makes perfect. Not everyone wants my advice, but they're gonna get it either way. All right then. 